here we are at what was described as the ultimate rock and roll pad by the Chicago Tribune. And this was Ringo Starr's purchased this apartment in 1965. He purchased, it was the ground floor and the basement. And he lived here with Maureen and this was Zach's first home. Now, after Ringo moved out, he let Paul McCartney use the apartment. Paul McCartney recorded down in the studios down there. This is where Eleanor Rigby was finished. After Paul moved out, in came the storm and the hurricane of Jimi Hendrix and Chaz Chandler with their girlfriends, Kathy Mary Etchingham and Lotta. And Jimi painted the apartment black, worshipped the occult, made a noise. The neighbours complained to Ringo. He had to get rid of Jimi and Chaz. The next people to move in were the Fault, who were in charge of the Apple Boutique in Baker Street. And then when they moved out, John and Yoko in 1968 moved in. Now this, look just through there, this is where the famous full frontal new picture was taken. It became the unfinished music volume one, better known as the Two Virgins album. Joe Lock, Sir Joe Lock Lockwood, the chairman of EMI, phoned John and said, what the hell are you doing? That picture is just revolting. He said, you could have at least got Paul to do it or used a statue from the park. Soon after this, a few weeks after this, the um, John got the album published by the Who's record company, the uh, publishing company, Z uh, tr Track. It was sold in brown paper bags to cover the picture. Now, a few weeks after this, the apartment got busted by Sergeant Norman Pilcher and his squad, and John was, was done for possession of cannabis was tried in Marlborough Magistrates Court and was found guilty. He pleaded guilty uh, to try and get Yoko off the hook because Yoko would have been deported and he was fined 500 pounds. 500 pounds is not a lot for a Beatle, but this came back to haunt John when he went to the USA in 1971. He had trouble getting a visa uh, and it haunted him for about 10 years. Now, if you look at the plaque just up here, Yoko about this back in 2010. There are a lot of people here to celebrate. Thank you very much. Have a great day and I love you very much. I've often wondered the classics John would have written in the last 40 years. I'm sure there would have been several as he was a rock and roll genius. As you can see, I've got some nice pictures here. Jimi Hendrix leaning against the wall here. Ringo and Paul coming down by this fence. John and Yoko. Hey, Jimi Hendrix here. Also, the famous picture of Jimi Hendrix on that, leaning against the fence over there, and the Montague Place sign was originally on the fence. They had to put it up behind the wall there.